The racing, it gets in your blood. It's like you just, that's all you want to do. You don't want to work. You want to come home, work on the race car, and go to the racetrack. It's always been in our blood. Racing has just always been in the Fair family. I started racing when I was a little boy watching my dad race. He used to run open cars, midgets, old models. He did uh, all kinds of racing. My father and my mother, my mother used to run the powder puff derbies when my father was racing too. And when I was a little boy, I always wanted to race. So I got in the car, first time by myself, uh, I would have won the heat race, but I blew a left front tire. And so that night I finished in the top five and my dad said, well, you might as well drive it. You did as good as I did. So that's how I got started. I started racing when I was pretty young. About seventh grade, we bought our first super late model that was an American Speed Association race car. And I'd always loved cars, so I started working with my dad on his race cars and traveling around the country with him. He started me off for the first two or three years mounting and dismounting tires, packing bearings, and cleaning the race cars. And as time went on, I became a crew chief, a tire changer, I became a car chief, and then I became a car builder and designer. And all that time was about 12, 14 years of my life. And then I started driving cars right at the end of that, right at the end of when he start, stopped driving the cars. When I met my husband, he was involved in racing. Before that, I had never even been to a race or a racetrack and knew absolutely nothing about it. But I, when I met him, if you want to be with him, that's what you do. I do really enjoy racing. It's a lot of fun. I love the excitement. I love the adrenaline. I love everybody working together to get to that point. We've had many ups and downs in racing. And through the years, you, you're either at the very top of your game or you're at the very bottom. And my first night of racing really describes that. I won my first ever race that I actually competed in on at a track and that same night in the second feature I crashed and hit the wall so I had a really high and a really low all within a two hour span and racing has been that way since I can remember you, you're either right at the top of your game or you're at the bottom of your game the first time I went to Lakeland for, Florida was the biggest track I'd ever been to a three-quarter mile track and I thought and if I just make this show I'm doing good, and we missed it. So that winter I went home, we built a new car, we started all over, we came back in the spring, we made the show, but not only made it, we were in the top five, and we were bidding for the lead the whole race. So you go from the very bottom to the very top in one or two trips, and it's a great feeling, and, and it just drives me. It's the best feeling when you win because you get to go on the track and take pictures with everyone, and then you get trophy and money, and every time we win, we always go to a good restaurant. One of the things that I like most and hate most about at the racetrack is waiting for that first lap to come in. We're at the track all weekend. We practice, we qualify, they set the field, we go through autograph sessions, and the whole time you're doing this, you're waiting for that first lap for that race to get started so you can see how you're gonna compete, what your car feels like, and you get these butterflies in your stomach that make you tense, excited, knotted up, and ready to explode all at the same time. And it's almost 
like agony and victory all in one. Around racing, because there's so many individuals that love it, they're around the, we're around the same sport, the same track for years and years, and it becomes a family. We talk to each other, we look out for each other, we compete fiercely on the racetrack, but off the track we'll give them anything we have because they're like our family. And we follow these, these same guys follow these same series year after year, and you become real close with them, and they become really good friends. When we first got into racing, and I was helping my dad, we had names out there, people that are, have become big stars and have since retired, people that are still stars now that we've raced against, we've competed against, we knew personally. And a, and a couple of them that come to mind is when I was a rookie in ASA, the guy that I finished second to is Jimmy Johnson, Mr. Six Time in NASCAR. And I just remember that we used to walk around the pits, talk to each other, just regular guys. Everything was really, you know, fun and good competition between us. You meet a lot of people, a lot of different people. Even though you're, you're actually going to war against them when you go racing, you meet a lot of people. You meet the, the wives, the, the guys that come our crew was always volunteer people, so we always had six, seven, maybe nine guys, and not everybody could always go. But you meet a lot of people like that. And you're racing against A.J. Foyt and Mario Andretti and Jordan Johncock, all these guys. You know, you, you, you know you're not going to beat them. They're well-funded and all that. But the competitive thing was always there with me and I always wanted to beat them. And we were very close to beating them many times. And then as my career went on, I actually got to race against Dale Earnhardt, and Alan Kowicki and Rusty Wallace. And we actually beat them a few times. Back then, you were very competitive. Everything you, you did, you, you wanted to win all the time. It's not good enough just to be out there playing. You go on to the next generation, my, my son, and now his daughter, and his son, and his wife, they're all into the racing too. They, they really like the racing. It becomes a, a, a very family-oriented deal, and I think it's, it's pretty good. It does take us a lot of time sometimes. It takes us away from the family, but I think we all really enjoy it. About a year ago, I was going through some photo albums, and I saw a picture of my second birthday at Michigan International Speedway. And I thought, wow. My mom, my dad, my sister, my grandpa, my grandma, were all there. And then I started thinking about me and my wife and my kids and the years we've spent at the racetrack together and how much this sport and this activity has drawn us together and kept us together as a family unit and how much fun we've had doing it and, tra and traveling together and the bond that we have that I don't think that anything could separate from us. And even if we go our separate ways and we get jobs, we always meet back for the racetrack, for the race car. And there's no other feeling like that.